Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a health bell, hello. Um, before I go any further, I would just like to say, if you haven't subscribed, could you consider doing so? It's still about 50-50 watching that have subscribed and not subscribed. And I am almost at 22,000. So I know... Why should you do me a favour? I know, but uh, I'd be very grateful if you would. So as you may have already noticed, I have no makeup on and you're very honoured because very few people see me without makeup on. But um, I'm doing makeup full face uh, with a twist and um, I'm also showing you something that is... I'd say 50% of why my skin is looking pretty good. This is true. Our bathroom, like the mirror and the sink are there and the window is here. And nowadays, this sounds very boastful, but it's just true. When I'm looking in the mirror and the, the light, it doesn't have to be sunny, but the light is coming in. My skin has got a definite kind of, plumpness and glow to it and um i'd say that this bit of kit that i'm going to show you is at least 50 percent responsible for that maybe i don't know genetics have got a lot to do with it obviously i've said that before but i you used before i used the current body led mask which i loved and um, Katie asked if she could borrow it. So she's been using it for a while. And then as luck would have it, I know, I know I'm really lucky. Um, Current Body sent me this new version. This is better. Um, this one, you can see just from looking at it, it goes under your chin. So it's much closer to your face, which must obviously... Um, make it work more efficiently because at the end of the day it's the led lights that you're wanting to get to your skin to rejuvenate it and um to make it feel as good as it can be i mean you know nothing can work miracles but i think if we can help it along that can only be a good thing so this particular mask has got uh, i'll just turn it on it's, it's very portable, so you can actually, I've still got the charger in there. Let's hope it's charged up properly. Yeah, so you can see how many lights are in there now. And um, I really do think that it helps to rejuvenate your face. And if you suffer from Roatia, a friend of mine has had Roatia and this mask has cured her Roatia. <laughs> rosacea so <laughs> i need to get new teeth i wonder if somebody will help me with that so you can see i'm going to put it on horror of horrors and you can see now it's got a strap that goes over your head and a strap that well it's very awkward doing it this way but it's got the full velcro straps at the back and i mean it is quite horrific but i can see perfectly fine through it and it, I think it takes like 10 or 12 minutes. I don't even notice because what I do, same as I did with the other one, I put it on after I've had my shower and washed my face in the morning. And then I put it on and that's when I put all my body lotions and things on and uh, look at my phone. I can happily look at my phone while I've got this on. And as you can see, it's really up close to my face which, I mean, this is ridiculous, isn't it? What do I look like? Halloween's coming. <laughs> oh, gosh, I sound like a witch. So I've got a discount code, which I will put on the screen, and it gives you 10% off, which this is 399 RRP, and you get it for £359.10. So... Well, Christmas is coming, isn't it, girls? So um, you could, I think an investment in yourself is always a good thing. I know it's a lot of money, but 
if you had probably four facials, it would pay for this in itself. And I think you can easily work this into your morning routine without any problems whatsoever. And it's really soft. This one is, I think this is more kind of flexible than the last one. So I know Katie's going to want this one. Well, she's out of luck, I'm afraid, until... Uh, Maybe they bring out another one, I don't know. But uh, I'm very, very happy with it. I I do feel that it's helping to keep my face as rejuvenated as it can be. And um, that's all we can do, isn't it, really? You can't really turn the clock back particularly, but you can stop it advancing any more quickly. I'm getting a bit hot in here now because I'm normally doing this in my night clothes, not fully dressed. Oh, oh. So... You can see from there how good the, um, it's funny because now I've taken that off, it feels dark in here, but you can see how many lights there are in there and they're targeted and, you know, the science backs this up. You can see it on plenty of reviews. It does work. This one is very portable. It's even got, I mean, you can, I, I just sit on the side of the bed and do it, but you could actually, like start drying your hair or whatever with this on but well you'd have a job with those straps on to be fair but I, I just find it's not a problem for me I work it in and equally you could just do it before you go to bed it's probably very relaxing to have that on just before you go to bed so that's the current body and uh, as I say all the links will be in the description box and um, if you've got any questions feel free to ask me so it's a little bit, you know what, it's a little bit like when you do the decorating. It's no point decorating if you haven't prepared the walls. <laughs> that's, that's the analogy. So my skin is in pretty good nick at the moment. I'm 67 and um, I've had no Botox or fillers. I mean, I know I don't look like I have, but just so you know, this is just my skin with some moisturiser on, that is all. Now, today, I'm doing a little experiment and I'm going to do a full face of makeup and I'm not going to tell you what brand it is until I'm finished and then we'll see. I'm doing this kind of in real time. I haven't used any of these products before and it truly is an experiment to see how it goes and I'll come back later in the day to see, my hair's all messed up now, not that it was great before, um, to see how it's done. So I'll just clip that piece of hair back, which is the only thing getting in my way. I've got a set of brushes here that I'm going to use as well. These are all new brushes from the same company. Hmm, feels very soft actually. And as I say, I've got my, I've done my moisturizer, that's all. I'm not gonna bother with the primer. As I've said to you before, I only do primer on high days and holidays. And um, so I'm just going to go straight in with the foundation, which I have bought in sand. And uh, never been open before, you can see. This might be a disaster. I mean, I, I don't know. But I thought it'd be interesting after doing Trini's makeup. I didn't do Trini's makeup. After using Trini's makeup, I thought it'd be interesting to see how this goes. So because it's a brand new brush, it is going to kind of take up more of the product. That's a brilliant match, I have to say. Isn't that a good match to my skin? I love using a new brush and I hope when they look, look all mucky, that's a job on my list to clean my makeup brushes hopefully the light is better i did apologize profusely for the poor light and trini's um makeup video but you know you live and learn don't you well that's gone on really nicely i've got a mirror obviously just here That's gone on really nicely. 
no denying that. I'll tell you, well, should I tell you at the end? Yeah, I'll tell you at the end what these products cost. So that's foundation done. It's just a nice light covering. I didn't want a heavy, I never like a heavy foundation, to be honest with you. Now, I've got a couple of options for the blusher, but um, I'm going to go with this one. This is a cream blush. Bl this is a cream blush and um, it's on one of these sponge kind of, it needs to, the product needs to come through. I hope, I was squeezing it quite a lot. I hope it doesn't suddenly, I wonder if you need to open it first now. Oh yeah, you have to slightly twist that, I think. You twist the top to open it. It's quite a peachy colour, but that's what I wanted because what I'm going to show you later is um, a kind of, uh, what would you call it? Kind of a camel coloured outfit. So I normally, oh, I'll just put it straight on and then blend it out. As I've said before, I'll start at the end of the eye and just go up. So that's probably quite subtle, probably a bit too subtle if I'm honest. Maybe I'll just use my finger. Yeah, that looks okay. I can always add more. So that's the, oh, twist that over, shut again. That's the um, cream blush. Now I did also get this one, which is called Instant Blusher Drops. I, I'll end up looking like Aunt Sally, won't I? So that's, I've just put that on the back of my hand. Yeah, that's nice. That's more of a a pink. So I'll leave it there for now and then see how it goes. Now, I always do my eyes next. I know some people say to do your eyes and then the face, but I prefer to do my skin first and I got this very nice it's still wrapped hang on I need to cut that off. very nice neutral palette and um, I have only got these brushes uh, that are in this kit and there isn't the kind of brush that I would normally use because I would normally use quite a kind of a big ish brush um, for the kind of background colour, but you can see this is a neutral here, so I'd, I'll go in with the neutral. It's quite powdery, as in it's kind of... Now this brush, I have to say, is not great because it's too kind of... See how it bends in like that? I want something that is more stiff yeah you know, more stiffer stiffer so that i can um but you know what the foundation brush was absolutely fine and i'm sure now i mean this brush is it feels a little bit like see how it's kind of i, I can't kind of be accurate with it for want of a better expression um, so I'm going to use this brush for 
Mm, there's a couple of nice colours here, actually. That one, I think I'm going to go in with that one, which is like a mushroom. Going out for lunch today, actually, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So as you know, I always go slightly above my brow bone there. That end is nice. Not that end. This brush is nice. This is more accurate. I normally use a bricker, a bricker brush. You know what I should do is teeth. A bigger brush, but I can get the same effect. And this is just an experiment, as I've said, to see how I get on. I really like that colour. I like that colour a lot. I think when you buy cheaper brands, you don't get the high pigmentation that you get in the higher end brands. But when I tell you the price of some of these products, I think you're going to get such a shock at how reasonably priced they are. Now, I like that. Now, I am going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to have to use the same brush because I can't use that other one. It's too sloppy. I'm going to put a bit of metallic on my eyes, which I generally shy away from. But for the sake of this experiment, I think metallics can be quite... Uh, difficult for an older woman to look good and it can look very dated. That isn't too, isn't too metallic because I think it can. I mean, you can see there it's kind of showing the crepiness on my eyes. Which isn't bad to be fair. I mean, I haven't got, I haven't got a problem with this. I mean, I don't know what all this lark is about. You know, trying, trying to look younger. I just want to look the best I can. I quite like that actually. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. Now, oh, I have got this brush, which has got the, the nice little blunt end. So, don't look going to go in with um, the very dark, dark brown in the corner. As you know, I don't tend to use a, an eye pencil, but I use a brush like this, which is perfect, to load up and I just literally push that into my eyelashes, the base of my eyelashes. That makes such a difference. Look at the two eyes. That one doesn't look finished and this one does. That's my favourite. And just a little bit underneath. Because I am going out. I, I Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And I tend to wet the brush. You shouldn't see that. It's probably, somebody's going to say you're disgusting. But it's my face, my mouth. You'll be glad to know. Sometimes I say the stupidest things. I hear myself sometimes and I'm like, Helen, what planet are you on? And just a little tiny bit underneath and kind of make sure it joins up with the top lid. And if you're going to do anything, make it sure it goes up and not down. I mean, that makes such a difference to your eyes. Really, it does. So I'm happy with that. I, my eyebrows need to, and I'm getting these all done before we go on holiday. So they're all a bit shabby at the moment, I'm afraid. Now I've got this mascara. It's called Wonder Lash. This is, I've never touched any of these products ever before, but it is really interesting. It's got a nice brush. It's 
So going right into the base of my lashes. It's not bad for a first coat, is it? Happy with that. I, it's, it's this, I don't know. I normally wear mascara, math, I normally wear mascara every day, regardless. But yesterday I was truly exhausted. And I even went to the garage with no mascara on. And because I've had kind of two whole days of that mascara, there is no residue of mascara on my lashes. I mean, Call me a skank, but there usually is. I've got a hair there or a, a, a random eyelash. This is a little bit clumpy, not too bad, but it's pretty good. I'm still using my lash serum. So I believe that an awful lot, well, I don't believe, I know it's true, an awful lot we're paying for with makeup and things like that is packaging, brand name, loyalty, advertising, marketing, call it what you like. We're all sucked into it. Every, well, maybe not every last one of us, but certainly most of us, and I've just managed to smudge that. Just a tiny bit, I think that's all right. Might get away with it. I'm happy with that. Now, brow pencil. I did buy a brow pencil as well. This is, I'm just checking, yeah. It's called a brow tint pen, just in brown. And I'll just put a little bit on there. It's very liquid. I've got kind of a little blind mole under this eyebrow, so it does tend to kind of look like it's got a gap. So I do often just fill that one in. And I don't do much else really. I, I tint them every now and again, as you know, with Just For Men, but that is fine. That's all I need to do there. Then I have a lip pencil in a kind of an, oh, in a nude colour. And it is a um, sharpening one, which is a bit of a pain if you're somewhere that you haven't got a sharpener. I do use a lip pencil every day. And I I do fill in my whole lip with pencil because I find it gives a good base for the lipstick. Now I've got two choices here. I've got a lip crayon and a lipstick. So I'm gonna try the lipstick. Lipstick's something I don't tend to buy lower brand because sometimes they've got a funny taste. Smells all right. Quite nice, isn't it? Nice natural color. What should I go with the lip crown? It's um, not glossy, not, not shiny really, but it's not too matte either. And then I got this colour in the lip pencil, uh, crayon. Take that off. A bit anyway. And then put this one on. Oh, 
almost the same colour. So I really like that. Very natural. So the only thing I'm a little bit not happy with really is the blusher. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on and I probably will look like Aunt Sally. Just, just a tiny bit more. I'm going to let that sit for a second before I blend it. I I look like a right Charlie, won't I? It's very hard to get the top back on this. It's weird, isn't it? It's the way they design things. You do wonder sometimes who they push it on and then twist it. That works. So. That's okay. So, not bad at all, is it? I really like those eye colours, really like them. So, let me tell you the prices, girls. So, first of all, I bought this bag, makeup bag with all the brushes. And what I like it is because it's flat here so that you can see everything you've got. There is a blender sponge here as well, but I don't tend to use those much. I'm not a makeup artist. I mean, I just enjoy makeup. The brushes and the bag was £10 altogether. £10. There is, uh, the only brush I didn't use at all is the bronzer brush. Very nice and soft. Very nice. They've all got a silly glue spot on them. Now, let me tell the prices, and I think you are going to be amazed. Amazed. I was amazed, because I've never really bought makeup there before. So, if you haven't guessed already, this was all Primark. There was this brush uh, on the end as well, a spoolie for your eyebrows or your lashes, whatever. So, first of all, these no dent clips were two pound four five in Primark. The foundation is three pounds for this tube of foundation. And it's called Perfect Finish Foundation, Medium to Full Coverage, Natural Finish, Vitamin C and Vitamin E. Feels lovely. Feels really lovely. Top marks. Don't know how it's going to last, but we'll see. The cream blush, which is very much a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury, was £3.50. £3.50. The instant blusher drops were... £4.50 or the other way around. These might have been 3 50 and that might have been... Yeah, no, that was 4 50 Sorry, that was 4 50 and this was 3 50 These are quite handy if you're at work and you just want something tucked in your desk drawer for a little bit of added hoo-ha. Whatever that means. So that was the thing. Then this palette, this whole uh, lip... Uh, the Neutrals Ultimate Palette was five pounds. Look at the colours. Perfect colours. Perfect. Apart from maybe the very dark copper brown, I probably wear all of those. Five pounds. Nice, nice container too. The mascara was £3.50. Absolutely as good as any other I've used. That's true. The, what was this one? Did I do the lip 
Oh no, I haven't done the lips yet. Oh, the brow pencil, £2.50. £2.50. The lip pencil, £1. £1 for that lip pencil, which is as good as any I've used. Nice and soft, does the job. The lip crayon was, Helen, where did you put the lip crayon? Two pounds. I can't believe these prices, they're so low. And then guess how much the lipstick was? 90p. 90 pence, not even one pound for this lipstick. Nice container, not at all kind of tacky looking. It's just got luster written on it. I mean, seriously. So, 450, 5, 8, 10.50, 12.50, 13.50, 16.50, 21.50. 22, 25, 25 pounds and 90 pence plus 10 pounds for the bag. So for 35 pounds, got all of that. That is mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. I know it depends how it wears, but to be quite honest, once I'm home, I don't care how it wears. You know, I don't care if it's... Uh, starts to look a bit less than perfect as the day goes on because I can touch it up I mean I'm not at work but when I was at work I had a makeup bag in my drawer anyway so that is current body which gives you the base on which to work which is really like I said it's like decorating the walls if you don't have the base you can't get anything to look good um and then the makeup, which I am perfectly happy with. No intentions of taking it off or changing it. I think it looks great. I particularly like the eyes. Really happy with those. So I am up against it time-wise. I've quickly got an outfit, one outfit to show you from Primark, which even the woman behind the till said, this doesn't look like Primark. So I'll quickly go and pop that on and... Um, wrap up, so I'll, I'll just quickly get changed. So I just thought I'd come back on and show you my makeup now. It's been on for about five hours. Mm, I think the eyes are still doing fine. I have put some more lipstick on, obviously, but my skin feels fine. I mean, I don't think I look particularly made up, but I do really, really like this eyeshadow. So the makeup on its own would have been, what, £25. So hard to knock, really, isn't it, at that price? I just thought I'd show you because I know lots of you want to know the staying power. No creasing on the eyes. I think it's marvellous, marvellous for that money. So, you know, it's worth a try, isn't it? I know not everyone's near a Primark and I will actually, although you can't buy it online, I will list all the projects, projects, products in the description box. And so you can buy it for yourself if you can get to a Primark. So this two piece is from Primark and it's their edit range. And it's actually got cashmere in this. Cardigan was £22 and the skirt was £24 and the belt was £8. And um, I just think it looks amazing. I've come outside because I haven't got a lot of room indoors at the moment and I'll show you why in, a, in another video. But um, I think this looks amazing for the money. It's a bit creased up because I had it on the back of a chair. You see like a knitted skirt it's got this um kind of wider ribbon here and then it's uh just exactly the same knit as this 
and for £46, pounds, £54 pounds including the belt. I would normally put a slip under it, but like I say, I'm a bit short on time. But I just think that this looks amazing for the, for the money. As I say, the lady behind the chill said this doesn't look like Primark. I was like, I know. So, good, eh? You really like it. So, that's me for today. And um, I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.